Morning peeps. Yet again I'm back, but today it's a moaning channel. Completely unscripted. Not sure about swear words, but anyway we'll carry on. So customer service is on my mind today. I've spent 30 minutes chasing up some laptops to be returned. Uh, from a customer services department who uh, emailed back and forth for eight weeks and nobody seems to know what the is going on the laptops were sent as a trade-in they were deemed it to be not worth anything so we asked for them back so they've been threatening to send them back for about six weeks now but I think they might have lost them Oh, I chucked them in the skip or whatever. So that's making me a bit pissed off this morning. Not the ideal start for a for a, for a new vlog, but hey ho. So I bought a soundbar, second hand, cheap, for Amanda's hut. And it is the exceptionally good quality sound. The, the sound of the quality of the speakers and the setup and eggs, everything else uh, can't be faulted. It is amazing. But then the uh, oh, remote control stopped working. So, tried to contact Roth. Nope, not a chance. Not answering the phone. Not answering emails on at least two email addresses, two phone numbers, one disconnected, one not answering and no ability to leave a message. Uh, I don't believe their customer service is very well uh, rated anyway. And it, uh, as it turns out, the dispatch department seems to work. I ordered a new remote because the remote stopped working. Came in due course, put the batteries in it, blah, 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 nothing. So one then has to assume that the soundbar is at fault. But why should it suddenly stop working? It might have been an intermittent fault in the reason why it was so cheap to start with. I mean, the only nuisance is altering the settings, but you can actually turn the volume up and down using the TV remote anyway. So it's not a major issue. The issue was whether people actually answer the frigging phone. You know, whether they care about customer service. Now, I don't believe they do. Shocking. Now, I've got a little Lego shop. And I believe my customer service is as good as anybody's. Down to people who are spending a whole £10 on an item that I've had to do maybe an hour's work of digging it out, sorting the parts, blah de blah, you know the crack. Anyway, enough said. So, soon to come uh, will be some on bike footage from uh, Merlot, the Z900 RS. I've got a, uh, a decent foam mount for the handlebars, really good quality actually. Um, Message me if you want the details. It's all aluminium, rotatable, blah, blah, blah. Also got a mount, which is really a handlebar mount, but it's actually mounted on the frame rail, which I just need to jury rig some brackets up. And that'll be done. And I've got a mount for the back, so I can have forward, backward, up and down. Anyway, so that's to come. And there'll be some drumming eventually. I get round to it. Now I've got two drum sets, one acoustic set up in the garage and one electronic set up over there or over there, whichever. So that's it for today, rant over. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Subscribe if you want, because it's about to be a laugh eventually. Um, I'm just, just doing this for the crack.
Seems everybody's got one, so I thought I might as well. There might also be some uh, dash cam footage from uh, Babu, the, ba the bus, which I've had awful trouble getting uh, tyres for, but that's for another day. Anyway, folks, thanks for your uh, watching. If you like what you see, leave a comment, subscribe, or whatever you do on this uh, thing. I haven't quite figured it all out yet. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.